So I'd seen this completely false quote floating around in various social media that says that you can't learn mental toughness. And I used to get angry when I saw it, but now I smile because I know that those who ignore that and actually work on their mental game, they're giving themselves a huge advantage and I'm the one to teach them. That is you, right? Anyway, the great news is that I'm here to tell you that becoming confident and focused is no different than learning the fundamental physical skills any athlete learns for a sport. You just have to work a few mental drills and over time, your mind strength will become automatic for you, just like any other skill. Also, just like any coach, there are many drills I could teach you to improve your game. But here are my top five that any athlete should work on if they want that competitive advantage. See, the great thing about mental toughness training for sports is that you can do it anywhere. You don't have to wait until competition in order to work on your mind. Now here they are in no particular order. One, mental practice. Now other trainers call this visualization, but I don't really like that word visualization. Why is that? Because a lot of people are not visual and that's okay. You do not need to be visual in order to get the benefits. Now I teach the details of this in my programs, but the bottom line here is that athletes make two mistakes with this. They don't do it enough and they are too vague in general with what they want to achieve. Get more detailed and specific in your mental practice. Second tool, get present. Now this is also very underrated as a skill, but can easily be improved upon. Here, here's what you do, multiple times a day, Take your attention to what your five senses are taking in to get into the present moment. Why? Why do you want to do this present moment stuff? Because fear cannot exist in the present moment. Unless you are faced with some physical danger right here, right now. Fear is our biggest enemy in sports. Mental tool number three, use a mantra. Create a sentence or a few words or even maybe just one word that you repeat often to yourself multiple times a day and it's something that means something to you about your ability to compete at your best or your confidence. For example, I never give up or I work harder than anyone else. Say this to yourself dozens of times a day until you believe it wholeheartedly. Mental skill number four, letting go. You know, undesirable things happen to us every day in our life. Make it a conscious practice to reduce the time between when those bad things happen and when we can move on. Now, I have specific tools and tactics to do that, but you want to make it a habit to verbally forgive yourself when you make mistakes that cause those undesirables. Sports are about who handles making mistakes the best. Build resiliency with this practice. There's that's really all you ever need to succeed at anything. Resiliency. Tool number five, practice your ability to focus. Multiple times a day, pick something to stare at and time yourself for how long you can focus on that thing without any other thoughts creeping in. See, the ability to focus is like a muscle that gets stronger by using weight training. You get better and better by working on this as a daily habit. You know, most sports, you only need a very short time for intense focus, and you can strengthen this ability really easy with that simple drill I just gave you. There you have it. It's not so much about doing it right. I hear people ask me this all the time. You know, like, like you have to do with physical skill development. It's about having an intention and getting your reps in. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer, and you can learn mental toughness.